Horology is the study and measurement of time, as well as the art and science of designing and making timekeeping instruments, such as clocks and watches. It encompasses various disciplines, including mechanical engineering, craftsmanship, and precision engineering to create accurate and reliable timepieces. Horology also includes the study of historical timekeeping devices and the maintenance and restoration of antique clocks and watches. Horology, the art and science of measuring time, began thousands of years ago with sundials and water clocks. Early civilizations used shadows and flowing water to track hours. In medieval Europe, mechanical clocks appeared in towers using gears and weights. In the 1600s, pendulum clocks and balance springs made timekeeping much more accurate. By the 1800s, watches were mass-produced and railroads relied on precise time to run safely. The 20th century brought wristwatches, automatic movements, and the quartz revolution, making watches more affordable and accurate than ever. Today, horology blends tradition and technology, from luxury mechanical watches to smart watches and atomic clocks that keep time to billionths of a second. Horology has come a long way, and it continues to shape how we measure every moment. Horology is a vast and fascinating subject, and in this video, our goal is to give you a big picture overview of how timekeeping has evolved over the centuries. Time is invisible, but it governs everything, and horology, the study and craft of measuring time, is how we've made the intangible tangible, from the ancient sundials and water clocks of Babylon to the satellites powering our smartwatches today, Horology is a tale of human obsession with precision, rhythm, and control over the fleeting moment. But who shaped this intricate world? Meet John Harrison, who solved the longitude problem with his marine chronometer, helping sailors find their way across oceans. Abraham Louis Breguet, the father of modern watchmaking, gave us the tourbillon, a device that spins to defy gravity's pull on timekeeping. George Daniels, the lone British genius, invented the coaxial escapement, a breakthrough in reducing friction, now famously used by Omega. Then there's Philippe Dufour, revered for crafting watches by hand so flawlessly, even machines seem crude in comparison. And long before them all, Christian Huygens introduced the pendulum to clocks, an idea that made precise timekeeping possible for the first time. Today, horology sits at a fascinating crossroads of tradition and technology. Modern watchmakers are rewriting the rules of time, Omega's Speedmaster coaxial resists intense magnetic fields and beats with Daniel's coaxial heart. Space-tested, Earth-approved. Patek Philippe quietly fuses heritage with innovation, using silicon components and models like the Aquanaut travel time, advancing precision without compromising elegance. Zenith dares to move faster, literally, with the Defy Lab, a watch that vibrates over 100,000 times per hour thanks to a radical monolithic oscillator. Hublet's Big Bang MP11 doesn't just keep time, it stockpiles it. With a 14-day power reserve and materials like carbon fiber and sapphire, it's more spacecraft than wristwatch. And if that's not enough, HYT bends the rules entirely, telling time with fluids that flow across the dial. It's part science experiment, part kinetic sculpture. Even in an age of smartwatches and atomic clocks, the allure of mechanical horology persists, precise, poetic, and profoundly human. Because watches aren't just about keeping time, they're about keeping meaning. And in every tick of a tourbillon, every turn of a tiny gear, we're reminded of what horology really is. The story of how humanity tried to tame time and ended up crafting art, 